In this video, I'll show you how to create a glitch effect in After Effects in under three minutes. Let's get started. First, go to the project panel and drag a composition with any graphic onto the timeline. Now, right click, select new and choose solid. Click OK. Select the solid layer and apply the fractal noise effect. Go to the effect controls panel and set noise type to block, contrast to 200 and brightness to minus 20. Then expand the transform settings uncheck Uniform Scaling and set the scale width to 8000. Next, hold ALT or Option on Mac and click the stopwatch icon next to Evolution. In the Expression field, type Time Asterisk 1000 and confirm. Select the solid layer again and add the Linear Wipe effect. Enable the stopwatch for transition completion. Move the playhead forward a few frames on the timeline and set transition completion to 100. Then, set the feather to 100 as well. Right-click the solid layer, select Pre-Compose, rename it to Glitch, choose the second Pre-Compose option, and click OK. Now, right-click, select New, and choose Adjustment Layer. Move the Adjustment Layer below the Glitch layer, and apply the Displacement Map effect to the Adjustment Layer. In Effect Controls, set the Displacement Map layer to Glitch. Move the playhead to the start of the timeline, and enable the stopwatch for both max horizontal displacement and max vertical displacement. Next, hide the glitch layer, select the adjustment layer, and press U to reveal the effects. Move the playhead a few frames forward and randomly adjust the horizontal and vertical displacement values. Repeat this process several times, moving the playhead forward and tweaking the parameters randomly each time. When finished, select all the keyframes, right-click, and choose keyframe interpolation. Set it to hold. Now you've created a simple glitch effect. It's time to add some color. Select all the layers, right click, and choose Pre-Compose. Rename it to Main Comp, choose the second Pre-Compose option, and click OK. Add the Shift Channels effect to the composition and duplicate the layer twice. For the first composition, go to Effect Controls and set Take Green From and Take Blue From to Full Off, leaving Take Red from Set to Red. For the second composition, set Take Red From and Take Blue From to Full Off, leaving Take Green From Set to Green. For the third composition, set Take Red From and Take Green From to Full Off, leaving Take Blue From Set to Blue. Once done, set the Blend Mode of the first composition to Screen. Do the same for the second composition. Finally, randomly offset the layers on the timeline to create the RGB split effect. And you're done. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a comment below. For more similar tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at JK Production. If you'd like a free project file, check out the description below.